Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology form 1, lesson 22, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. We are going to handle the topic on uh, nutrition in plants and animals under the subtopic uh, proteins. Um, we should have the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give both properties and functions of proteins. I'm going to give an outline of the proteins um, and as you can see that uh, they are compounds of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen. So proteins like carbohydrates and lipids are compounds of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. However, unlike carbohydrates and lipids, proteins also contain the element nitrogen and are hence referred to as nitrogenous compounds. In addition to nitrogen, proteins may contain phosphorus or sulfur or both. Some proteins such as uh, um, um, hemoglobin contain other elements such as iron. Proteins are made up of small units called amino acids. There are about 20 different types of amino acids occurring naturally. All amino acids contain an amino group which is composed, that is composed of the nitrogen and uh, hydrogen, which consists of um, hydrogen and nitrogen, but the number of carbon atoms differ from one amino acid to the other. A single molecule of protein can have hundreds or even thousands of amino acids units which are joined together by the process of condensation. Uh, we still um, are having the continuation of the proteins whereby the process involves combination of two amino acids to form a dipeptide molecule. The bond between the two amino acids is called a peptide bond. During this process, a water molecule is formed. Continued condensation leads to the addition of more amino acids to a protein chain. A long protein chain known as a polypeptide results. The uniqueness of a particular protein is determined by the type and the sequence of amino acids that it contains. Theoretically, the possible number of ways in which amino acids could combine may lead to an infinite number of different proteins. However, this is not the case since organisms possess mechanisms which control the synthesis of proteins. Now, having uh, done and said that, we are going to look at um, our different uh, proteins. From the diagram that we are having, there are different uh, proteins whereby you are able to see there is the fish, there are the eggs, there are the green grams, we have the chicken and the liver. Those are the so some sources of proteins which are being uh, represented diagrammatically. Now, we are going to look at the properties of proteins, which um, give them um, those characteristics that we have seen. One of the properties is that we have said that they dissolve in water to form colloidal suspensions, where the large protein particles remain suspended in the water. The suspended particles do not settle on standing and they cannot be separated by filtration. Collectively, the colloidal particles have a very large surface area and since they have a strong capacity to absorb water and other substances, they are important in holding molecules in position with the cells. You can see uh, our second point that we are saying that they are denatured by high temperatures. This one we are saying proteins are denatured by high temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius and extreme pH values. Denaturing uh, changes the structure of the protein molecules, causing a change in chemical and physical properties of proteins. This affects their physiological uh, um, activities in the tissues. Our third property of proteins that they are ampho amphoteric. Being amphoteric, we mean they have both acidic and basic properties. They therefore react with acids and basics. This property enables proteins to combine with non-protein compounds. Um, whereby our fourth um, property, we are seeing that they form conjugated proteins. Because they are able to combine uh, to react with both acids and bases, um, they, are, they, they react with some proteins to form conjugated uh, proteins. For example, in mucus, the non-protein compound is a carbohydrate, while in hemoglobin, the non-protein compound is iron. We are now going to look at the f um, several functions of proteins in the body whereby we are able to see that uh, one of the functions of the protein is that th they are components of structures in living organisms. 
proteins we are saying that they make up some structures in the in our body whereby those um structures might include the plasma membranes the connective tissues we have the muscle fibers the the airs so uh, generally um proteins they make some structures in the um in the body two are plants th synthesize amino acids which build up the uh, proteins animals obtain proteins from the plants and then break them up during digestion our third function of the um function of the protein is that they are important as metabolic regulators these metabolic regulators are the enzymes and hormones and are proteins in nature that is um for the metabolic regulators we know that it is comprised of the enzymes and it comprises of enzymes enzymes and enzymes are yeah, protein in nature our fourth function of the protein is that uh, they are broken down to release energy in condition uh, of extreme starvation this one we say in the case you starve or you go uh, without food in uh, extreme cases the proteins in the body they will be used to uh, to release energy having done and said that we are going to have the following activity whereby you are going to name the building blocks of proteins as we have uh, seen in our, our lesson the second activity you should list three properties of proteins and if possible you explain them for more uh, information about the proteins you can refer to klb secondary biology students book one fourth edition nairobi kenya literature bureau and uh, to get more of these lessons you can send an uh, send us an sms uh, in the number that you can see from the screen or you subscribe to our youtube channel which is uh, elimu tv or you send us a, me a message on our facebook page at elimu tv or you send us a message on our twitter page at elimu tv underscore kenya thanks for your time and let us subscribe for us to have more of these lessons welcome